Welcome. This short video for Blue Water Trader is going to show you how to get started with different trade interfaces, how you can open them up, how you can do some basic customization on those. So from the symbol manager, I'm going to right click on my mini S&P listing. I get this new menu and I'm concerned with these two sections, simulation and live. Simulation for paper trading, live to trade my actual brokerage account. And I'm looking at these two options, the dome and the trade chart. So to start out, I'm going to left click on dome and I'll get a traditional depth of market explorer window like this. If I right click again and I go to live and select dome, I get another one. They look very similar, but there's an obvious difference. The trade bar gets colored based on whether or not it's live or sim. So my sim windows will always have this green bar. My live windows will always have this purple or light blue bar. And in the account menu, I can see that I have some account. On my live window, I have some live account options. Aside from those dome windows, I also have the option to open a trade chart where I can place orders. If I right click once more, go to live or simulation and pick out trade chart, I'll get a basic price volume trade chart where I can place orders directly on the chart screen. Candlesticks on top, on the volume study on the bottom. So up front, I can scale these windows. If I grab the edges, I can make them bigger or smaller, shorter, taller wider, skinnier. It's also true with the trade chart. I can take the borders and expand it. I can take the pane divider and left click and drag that up or down to change the space between those two. So this trade bar that's on the right, whether or not it's a dome or a trade chart can be customized as well. So the, the selections you see in here now are the defaults. If I right click on the trade bar, I get this selection execution properties. And if I left click on that, I'll go to a new window where I can customize what's displayed here. So for instance, I want to actually take some things away. I'm going to take away the buy bid, buy ask, sell ask, sell ask, and sell bid. If I click OK, it removes those. So I took those out. I just want those market order buttons and so forth. If I right click again and go to execution properties, I could add something else in instead. So if I went down here, for instance, I could say show quick pad, click OK. Now I get this new portion called the quick pad where I can have predefined lot sizes that I usually trade so I can just fire them in quickly. If I right click once more and go to execution properties, the last section down here is for colors and brushes. So this is where I can customize things like the font on the pricing, or I can change the color on individual items. If I expand this one, I can see the color that's on there now. If I click the arrow, I get a palette where I can select something new. It's the same execution properties on the trade chart because the trade bar itself is the same thing. So I can customize add or take away items over there as well. Uh, for instance, I want to have the order strategy drop downs here. So I'm going to check show order strategies and click OK. Now I get these additional drop down menus where I could pick out order strategies to trade with if I had some set up. Another unique bit for the dome that's different is the actual order placement area here. If I right click here in the trade area, I'll get a new menu. Most of it is order types if I were going to place an order, but at the bottom there's one called dome properties. If I left click on that, I see some additional properties that are specific to the trade dome here. So order management, stop limit ticks. This is the default difference between your limit price and your stop price if you use a stop limit order. I have some other options like always on top if I want to keep that up there. And then some of those basic display options like I can change fonts and I can change colors and so forth specifically on the dome window. The only other windows that I might want to open for execution in the midst of trading might be where I want to see the order windows. So if I go to trading, order manager, I can either open a sim order manager or a live order manager. So I'll try sim in this case. This is a place where I can see additional information about orders that I'm either working or I have filled. So just quickly to have an example, 
I'm going to put in my account, a lot size, buy at market. Bottom section is completed orders. If I put out a limit order here, it shows up in the top section for working. If I force that one to fill, it's done in the bottom section. So these are SIM orders. I could also have one specific to my live orders, order manager, live order manager. So I could see my live orders as well if I were transacting those. So those are some basics on opening up the different trade interfaces and how you can do some basic customization on those in terms of what functions are available and or how they look and feel.